how to find and check out a fiction book from the library. You will need to enter the library to check out a library book. This is general information about the library, which you can find around the library itself and on the website as well. Be sure to sign in and have your current ID and pass ready during classes and lunch. You will want to look in the library catalog to see what is available. The online catalog is there for you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you use the library computers, you will need to log in. This is the library's address if you want to go directly to it, http dot slash slash library dot seguin dot k12 dot tx dot us. You can also find the library through the Seguin ISD site. Once you've typed in the address, this is what you'll find. This is the Seguin ISD library homepage. You will want to click on high school to get to the high school catalog. Then, once you're on the main uh, web page for the Skeen High School Library, click on the Catalog tab. Once you've opened the catalog, you can begin your search. You can look for a book in many different ways. For example, you may search by author, title, subject, or keyword. If you want to find a fiction book, you will look for entries with F in the call number. Each book has a call number, which is usually on the spine of the book. So if you wanted to look for a book about zombies, you could begin by typing zombies in the search bar and then click return or enter. Look at the call number to see if what you want is a fiction or a nonfiction book. Remember that fiction books are made up. Nonfiction is about real things. This is Max Brooks. He has written a very famous fiction book about zombies. And here it is. If this is the book you want, you want to make sure it is not checked out. Look in the details for more information. You can get a synopsis of the book and information such as the copyright date, the length of the book, links to other books on the subject, or even the reading level. This is the call number. Every fiction book has an F and then the first three letters of the author's last name. So you would find this one in the fiction section under BRO for Brooks, who is the author of the book. Fiction is to the right as you enter the Seguin High School Library. Our fiction books are arranged alphabetically according to the author's last name. This is the A section with authors whose last name starts with A, so you would not find Max Brooks's book here. Now we're getting to the B section. You can see the fiction B books. And here it is. The call number is FBRO for Fiction Brooks. Of course, he's not the only author whose last name is Brooks, so you have to look at the title also. There are many, many books in the fiction section. This is Jonathan Mayberry. He also writes interesting zombie books. What would be the call number for one of his novels? If you said fiction, M-A-B, that would be correct. If you are not sure you will like a book, open it and read a page or two. If you think you will like it, don't forget to check it out at the front desk. You may check out five books at a time. So the librarian will take your book and look up your name or your number, find the patron, click on your name or your number. Then the book's barcode will be scanned to check it out to you. Please be sure to return the books when they are due. Normally, Seguin High School students may check out five books at a time for two weeks at a time. People with overdue books will be charged to fine at five cents per day per book, not to exceed one dollar per book. Lost or damaged books must be paid for by the student who checked them out. 
You are responsible for the books you borrow. You may renew your books if no one else is waiting for them. When is it due back? Look on the page after you've checked it out and you will see the date. The library staff will usually also stamp the book with the due date for you so you won't forget. Just like that. If you want to reserve a book because we don't have it or put it on hold, ask the library staff to do this for you or log into the catalog. Use your ID number as your username and password. You may put holds on books yourself, create resource lists, and check out ebooks. Check out and read the ebooks online or download them to your device. Happy reading!